Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So uh, today I'm rocking some straight hair. I don't know if I've ever filmed with straight hair before, so if you're like, new hair, who dis? It's me. My hair's just really straight today. Um, but I just wanted to do an update uh, Kurt, from a couple different videos, from the Curves, Curls, and Confessions video and from the Help Me Pick My Look date video. I have been getting a lot of questions about how the date went and if I'm going to go out with him again and all that kind of stuff. Um, it went well. We had a good time. Um, he's a really, really nice guy. Um, we're going to try to see each other again. Uh, we have both have extremely busy schedules, so we'll see whenever we can be each other in because he's not from here. He lives about an hour and a half away. So, um, yeah, we're going to try to see each other again, and it went well. Thank you for helping me pick my look. I did go with the black dress because everyone loved it. Um, so it got the majority of the votes, so that's the one I wore. And to recap a little bit of the Curves, Curls, and Confessions video, I talked a little bit in that video about um, how I was on birth control and the issues that I was having with being on the pill and the next one on implant. Um, and then I was told you a little bit that I was going to go off of everything for a little while and um, have some tests done and just see what was going on because uh, this year I've struggled with um, mood swings and weight gain and... Um, a little bit of depression and stuff that I've never really struggled with before um, and I mean I've always been a bigger girl but I've never put on weight as fast as I have this year so something was going on and I knew something was going on there's a hair in my face okay <laughs> so I knew something was going on but I wasn't sure what it was and um, so I just went to the doctor to get um, some blood work done and have some tests done and I just found out this week that I do indeed have PCOS, uh, polycystic ovary syndrome. Um, I had a feeling that I've had this for a very long time, but when you're on birth control, um, your hormones are being affected by the pill and estrogen levels and testosterone levels and all of that is being affected by the pill. So you can't have your hormones tested and it be accurate. So I had to go off of everything for about three months now and uh, let my body kind of do whatever it was going to do naturally, get my hormone levels where they're supposed to be at the naturally how they would be, and then have them checked. So I did that, and I got the call this week that if, like all the hormones that like I had high testosterone levels and um, a couple of different things that lead to the fact that I do indeed have PCOS. So um, right now I just got my prescription filled. They're putting me on met metformin which is actually, if you look it up, it is a um, medicine that is used to treat diabetes, type 2 diabetes. Um, I do not have diabetes. I have been tested for that a few times. They check on my levels and I don't have it. But PCOS can cause insulin problems. It can cause you to be insulin resistant, which then in turn causes you to have high blood sugar and can like make all of those symptoms of PCOS so much worse. The mood swings, the weight gain, all of that. So I have heard, just since researching uh, metformin, just since I got it, I haven't taken it yet, but just since I got it, I researched it because I always want to know, you know, I'm not a huge medicine person. I don't like taking medicine. I don't like taking a medicine every day. I don't like putting things in my system. Um, so I wanted to look it up and see if there was any bad reviews, anything negative that I needed to know, what the side effects were probably going to be like. So I did that and um, there are some negative side effects that it, it will uh, normally upset your stomach. Um, I mean, and people have severe reactions to it too. But the most common one is some nausea and upset stomach and stuff like that. And they say once you've taken it for a few months, then those side effects seem to get better. Like I said, I have not taken it yet, but I do plan to start it today. And um, I will keep you guys updated on how it does. I have heard amazing things about this for a treatment for PCOS. It's not, it was not made to treat PCOS, but a lot of doctors are using it to treat the symptoms of PCOS. So, um, I'm not thrilled with the fact that I have it, but I'm relieved to know why I was having all of these issues that I was having. Um, I have always been a relatively healthy person, so, um, it was very concerning to start having all of these issues. Um, I had been on birth control, if you watched my last video, I said I've been on birth control since I was 16 years old because of irregular cycles. 
Um, so when you're on it for all that time, you're not able to really test your hormones or see what's going on naturally in your body. Um, so yeah, so I am relieved to know what's going on and I will keep you guys updated on the journey and how metformin works for me and um, if I see any negative side effects, if I see some positive side effects, my phone is ringing. Sorry, that was my little babies. My nephew was calling me. He had to talk to me and I can't ignore a call from him. So, um, anyway, so I was talking about metformin and, um, in my last video I told y'all how I love to work out and, um, I talked about pump up then. Well, I've taken a break from boxing and pump up and I am now going back to the gym to take classes. So I'm a huge Les Mills uh, fanatic. If you have ever taken a Les Mills class, they're my absolute favorite. Um, I take body combat and body pump. Um, and then I take RPM once a week. Um, I take body pump three times a week, body combat twice a week, and RPM once a week. Is that all? Yes. <laughs> so I go to the gym, um, about six days a week. And, um, so I will let you guys know because I've heard a lot of people that have taken metformin say that they saw a lot of weight loss and um, I don't know if that will be how it is for me. Um, I'm not sure. Um, and uh, they say that if you eat really, really healthy, then you won't have as many of the negative side effects of taking the medicine, um, which I normally eat pretty healthy about 80% of the time. I do the 80-20 thing, so it's like 80% of the time I eat really, really healthy and 20% of the time I eat what I want. So um, I might try to do even better than that if that is going to keep me from having some of the negative side effects of the medicine um yeah I don't know if I'm going to like it it's not one of those things where it's like I have to take this medicine it's going to be like life or death but if it helps me um regulate my mood swings and feel better and have more energy and um just feel like myself again then I will definitely give it a shot so um I will keep you guys updated on how it goes and any of you other PCOS people out there if you want to give me some suggestions for what you do, what has helped you, um, and what's going on with that. Uh, I am currently not going to go back on the pill right now. Um, I'm going to see how metformin does with um, regulating my cycles and doing all of that. So um, if you have any suggestions or if you are a PCOS or two, then uh, hit the like button and let me know what you do down in the comments. And thank you guys for watching. As you know, I so appreciate all of your support and watching all of these videos. This one is not about clothes. It's just about me. So thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe.